okay making potting soil so I'm adding metal in there as you can see nail for metals different types of metal I'm gonna put in there bottle cap charcoal so I'm making potting soil so I'm gonna go rake up some leaves stems and branches and toss it up in there along with some other matter just add my leaves and stems um, mulch now I'm gonna mix it up and then give you a, a preview of what that looks like the end result of that product okay I got it all mixed in okay your soil you have to when you're doing your potting soil or your gardening soil or dirt for your plants whether it's trees fruits trees or vegetable the primary objective is to make sure that the thing can retain moisture you want to add nutrients so that weeds and thing don't grow so you can add like sand white lime and different things you have to figure out the ratio it all depends on what the land has like is it white lime base is it red dirt black dirt clay I mean there are so many different things that you have to factor in when you're doing your gardening because different location require different types of soil like right now this is where we're gonna put this have black soil white line and I think maybe red dirt red clay so I'm basting it uh, my soil I'm mixing it so that it can be environmentally friendly for both types of soil so that it can sustain life meaning the plant so right now we're planning to these are for trees fruit trees so that's why we're making the soil to look like this so that the healthier you make your potting soil during drought and then you also factor in that you're, a trop you're in a tropical climate you have to factor in like what are some of the elements that you're going to add in there to help retain moisture leaves break down and turn into carbon because you need some carbon so now I'm going to go grab some grass clippings from out of my other compost section and then mix that in and then see where I'm at if I need to add some more topsoil some more dirt to balance off okay that's my grass clippings and I've been this been sitting around for about four plus months now so you want to have your soil where it's gonna attract like organ um, or attract life you want earthworms you want sometimes you even want ants the fire ants to be there but you don't want it to be a dominant force because sometimes the um, fire ants protect the plants from certain types of insects and bugs that will come and eat or harm the plant so all these different things you have to factor in when you're doing your gardening especially a biodegradable garden this as you can tell it has paper as well to help with carbon and sometimes depending on how the placement is it blots out the Sun and it prevents weeds from sprouting it slows give the plants time for it to sprout roots mm -hmm. I've been adding water to my um, grass clipping grass clipping compost as well I haven't had water in like over a month but you can see look there's different types of critters or insects in there already so now when I mix this all up together this is going to be a healthy uh, padding soil brought to you by empower by roots work please like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell remember you want it to where the soil is pulling out enough heat so that the roots can germinate and bring forth roots 